Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today is 4th of July. Happy July 4th to everyone out there. I do not have a movie review to share with you guys. Instead, we are celebrating an anniversary today. It is my official one year anniversary on YouTube. That's right. I've been doing YouTube videos now for one year. I cannot believe it. So I figure I'm going to do a little celebration and just talk a little bit about myself, give a little bit of background, because other than the movie reviews, you guys really don't know anything about me or my situation that brought me to the YouTube world. And so I figure why not share that on my one year anniversary. Now, I do not know if July 4th is my official anniversary. I know that I started in July. And the catalyst for this was a breakup. Last year, on July 4th, I broke up with my boyfriend. And I didn't want to write in a journal. I didn't want to cry over sappy love songs or anything like that. I said, you know what, Susan, get creative. Start a YouTube channel. Talk about it. Now, the focus and the direction of my channel back then was not movie reviews. It was pretty much about me dealing with the breakup, my feelings, my thoughts, things about me. Um, I was unemployed at the time, so I was very lost and I didn't know where I wanted to go and what direction. I was very confused. I had a lot of anxiety now in my life being brought into my life and I was very lost. And doing YouTube videos actually helped me ground myself, if that makes any sense. It gave me something to be consistent with and not just lay around being an unemployed mess like, you know, some like some people <laughs> tend to be. So it gave me a focus and a direction. And I really appreciate YouTube for that because it also jump started my creativity again. You know, working the same job for six years, I got into a rut. I got into a very comfortable way of living. Okay, this is how I live my life every single day. And my creativity got lost. I was a theater major in college. I do have creativity in me. And so I thank YouTube for bringing my creative side out again somewhat because I really, really lost that. And so when I broke up with my boyfriend, I started my YouTube channel. Now, mind you, I had no idea how to start any of this. I am not big on technology at all. I had to research. I went on YouTube and searched, how do you start a YouTube channel? How do you make thumbnails? How do you edit? I started from the very, very bottom and worked my way up. I had just recently gotten a brand new phone, so that helped the situation because I had an archaic phone before. And I have to admit, my earlier videos from a year ago were not that great. The lighting was bad. Um, I didn't have a tripod. I held it with my hand, but I knew I just had to get content out there into the world to start my channel. And so that's what I just did. I talked about my feelings. I talked about the breakup and I talked about things going on in my life, what was working, what wasn't working, my money issues, my feelings, everything like that. And then actually my ex and I got back together. And when I told him about my YouTube channel and about me pretty much journaling online about my feelings, he said, I don't want any part of that. If we get back together, you can't do your YouTube channel. I don't want you to do that. And that really hurt me because I felt creative again doing YouTube and I felt excited a little bit, a little bit in my life because I was very extremely depressed without having a job and I didn't know where my life was going. And so YouTube was that little, little piece of light that gave me hope that I was doing something in my life that was okay. And that was getting my creative juices flowing. And he pretty much gave me an ultimatum. I kept doing YouTube videos. I didn't tell him that. I just told him, I won't talk about you. 
I won't talk about our relationship. I will talk about myself. But he wasn't supportive of my channel. And that really, really hurt me. And in the end, we broke up finally for good anyway, right before Thanksgiving in the fall. So it was never going to work out because he did not support me. He did not encourage me with my YouTube channel. And bye. <laughs> See you later. Because if you cannot support me in what I am doing, then I don't want you in my life. And so he was not meant to be in my life. He was just a little chapter. But he was the catalyst for me creating my world on YouTube. And so I do have to thank him for that. And after a little bit, I discovered that I was kind of running out of things to talk about or I was getting kind of monotonous with my feelings and everything. So I'm like, hmm, I need to revamp my channel. I need to reorganize it. And I was getting a little bit better. I didn't have a banner before. So I created a banner. It's very basic and simple, but created my banner and I got a little bit better with the lighting situation, but not by much. Um, but I was learning, I was learning more and I said, you know what, I need to discuss something that I am passionate about, that I enjoy, that I'm never going to run out of material for. And it's like the light clicked in my head, movie reviews, because I love going to the movies and endless amounts to talk about. We're never going to run out of movies, hopefully so. And it was just something that seemed to fit. And it was right when all the awards were happening. And I said, this is perfect. I can talk about the awards, the award shows, who's nominated, my predictions. And so that's where I really started getting involved in YouTube and uploading a lot of videos in a week. And that's when I started really getting a lot of views on my channel. Now, I'm not saying I have thousands upon thousands of views by any means, but I went from, say... 30 something views on a video to 300 views on a video, which I was proud of because I am literally no one. I was no one with like 20 subscribers and a year later I'm up to 82 and I know that's not a huge gigantic leap, but I'm growing and that's good. I'm going in the right direction and hopefully I'm uploading content that pleases you as my subscribers and my future subscribers and I do only want to get better from here. And so that's where I'm at now. I'm still very simple. I, you know, film on my phone on a tripod from Walmart. I'm not fancy. I don't have a ring light. I use the lights in my room, the natural light out the window. I don't know how, I don't know how much further I want to go with, um, like the technical aspect, only because it gets a little confusing for me. I'm kind of comfortable filming like this and getting better. And I know sometimes I tend to repeat myself in my videos and I'm trying to work on that as well. Now, as far as my situation personally, a little bit about me, I'm 38 years old and I live in Connecticut. I film in my bedroom, this is my bedroom, I actually live with my parents, so I am a, I'm a cliche of living in my parents' basement. They built me a bathroom down here, so it's kind of like I have my own little mini apartment, but I film in my room in the basement. This is why I do not have a fancy, like, background or, you know, movie themed or anything like that. I am hoping in the future when I eventually move out. I will be able to have a special room in my house in the future, whatever I decide to do, that can be dedicated to YouTube videos and for my channel and for my subscribers because I enjoy doing this so much. It gives me something to do. It's my hobby and I just really love doing this and I wanted to express that to my channel and to my subscribers that I really do appreciate everyone that sends me comments, that sends me the love, because there are some times when I put out a video and it doesn't get any views. Like my Spider-Man review I just put out, it's gotten three views. No one has watched it. And I think it's because so many reviews are out of that movie right now. But when I get defeated, 
I get, I feel really sad. And then I get a comment from somebody that totally lifts my spirits. They say, love your channel. Keep doing what you're doing. I love your videos. And that just makes me feel so good. And that gives me the drive to continue doing what I'm doing. And I'm getting excited because we are at the halfway point of the year and award time is coming up. It's going to be coming up again. And I'm probably going to be doing prediction videos of who I think is going to get nominated for what movies. And that is just exciting to me. I love award season. I was very wrapped up in last season. And uh, hopefully this season, award season, is going to be that much in intense for me as well because I was very wrapped up in Bohemian Rhapsody and A Star is Born and everything so I'm hoping that this award season is going to be just as good if not better and I think I'm going to wrap up this video I just wanted to do a happy anniversary to me on YouTube one year officially one year I can't believe it and I'm going to continue doing videos for you guys and updates on my life I guess um Things about me, I'm a cat lover. I have two cats. Uh, one is black and the other one is gray and white. They are both rescues. I adopted them from the Humane Society. For my job, I am a food delivery person. I work independently. I am a door dasher and a grub hubber. I'm also looking into Uber Eats possibly just to add it into my repertoire. And that is because of my best friend. She opened my eyes to... You don't have to work in a structured environment. She introduced me to independent work living and I'm forever grateful to her for that because I thought in the back of my mind, is it a scam? Is it real? And it's real. Obviously, DoorDash and Grubhub are real things. You do not have to work in an office, put on a suit every day and go to work and be uncomfortable. I love what I do because it gives me the flexibility to do YouTube videos and to go and see movies. And I cannot ask for a better life right now. I'm actually very happy. I'm content with my life. There are certain things that I wish could be better, but I'm not going to dwell on it. I'm okay with it. And I love YouTube. YouTube has enlightened me to so many things. And I watch all the other movie reviewers out there and I'm watching them grow and I am hoping to grow as well. I want to be a part of that movie reviewer YouTube community. You know, I love Chris Stuckman and Jeremy Johns, Angry Joe Show, Austin Burke, Zach Pope, um, Grace Randolph, uh, everyone, all those movie reviewers. I look up to you guys. I really, really do. I watch... I'm subscribed to all of your channels and I watch all of your videos and I learn from you guys. I really, really do. I learn from you guys on how you film and how you review your content and it just, it's helped me so much and I aspire to be like you guys. You are my YouTube heroes as far as movie reviews go. So if I could even be mentioned at any point in the future with any of you guys, that would be like an awesome dream come true. So happy 4th of July, everyone. Happy anniversary to me for one year on YouTube. I appreciate all of you guys and love all you guys. And don't forget to hit the red subscribe. Join the review crew.